what's good guys welcome back to ron's rise welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video where the afro male supercar is just nearly sold out but stellantis hasn't even given afro male the green light to build it yet so let's talk about this because it's supposed to be announced in this coming march and april but we'll see what happens i mean it's supposed to already be a date for the announcement of the alpha male supercar strongly desired by the alpha male ceos john philippe imperato and indeed it is known that alpha has long insisted that on the desire to give life to a very limited series sports car which should be inspired not of a few denials by the iconic lines proposed by franco scaglione's alpha male 33 stradale now, in the recent months, the project has undergone a substantial acceleration aiming for a presentation to be configured already this year, and the British Auto Car have reported a few details in the last few hours. In fact, it seems that the Alpha Male Supercar will be announced as early as March april this year although all the proposed specimens would already be almost completely sold to those lucky owners so learned it is that alpha male had already taken deposits despite no decision from stellantis or an official reveal and in that interview with british auto car imperato acknowledged the tentative status of the supercar saying in quotes to make this type of decision in 2022 in a group like stellantis everyone considers that you are completely mad End quotes. Now, Imperato also indicated that the automaker was taking its time to get the car right, creating something that would contribute to the DNA of the company. He said, in quotes, we are working on something that I could put aside the 8C in the Museum of Arce. Being proud of our contribution to the history of Alfa Romeo, that is what we want. So if approved by Stellantis, it will be a mere formality that will be put into practice on April 17th when the project will be definitively approved. In any case, the official presentation of the model destined for the few lucky owners should be fixed during the important event of the Le Mans Classic scheduled between June 29th and July 3rd. And it should also be emphasized that as confirmed again by Imperato that sales will be sold out even before the sports car is unveiled by the Alfa Romeo car manufacturer. Now the contribution to the history of the brand is necessary and fundamental. Furthermore, Jean-Philippe Imperato has hinted that the supercar could adopt a traditional internal combustion engine going beyond the possibility of combining the model with electricity, possibly acquiring the V6 by turbo unit already adopted on the Alfa Romeo Giulia and Stelvio Quadrifoglio. Now returning to the style, Imperato added that the car will be iconic, super sexy, and recognizable at first sight as an Alfa Romeo. Now it could fully fall into the hypercar category, positioning itself alongside the brand's main range. Previously, it was also added that Alfa Romeo could benefit from one last collaboration with Sauber Engineering, as it had already happened for the development of the Giulia GTA and GTA M, but that's just a hypothesis. Now, finally, I want to recall that already in 2018, Alfa Romeo had discussed the desire to put a mid-engine supercar on the road. The project went up in smoke, set aside by the fact that Alfa Romeo sales began to take a different turn from the one initially assumed. And as for the basis on which the Alfa Romeo branded car would rest, today the Stellantis Group has a valid rear-wheel drive and highly performing monocoque, namely that of the recent Maserati MC20, that a lot feels like if the sales went good back in 2018, it would have been the 6C instead of the MC20. Now, the Alfa Romeo supercar would then introduce the first characterizations of the style that Alejandro Romanos intends to impose on future Alfa Romeo cars. So, the intentions of the Spanish designer are those really relating to emotional and deeply visceral research that an Alfa Romeo must always take into consideration. At the moment, we just have to wait and see what happens. But what do you guys think about Alfa Romeo taking these deposits basically selling out their supercar before it's greenlit. And do you think it will be an ICE model? Do you think that Sauber Engineering, who did the GTA, GTA M, and also their F1 cars, should put one last effort into the new supercar? Let me know all your thoughts about this information here today. Drop those comments down below. Now, if you guys did enjoy the video today, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Give the video a like. We'll help get it up in the rankings. More people can see it. And we'll have a bigger discussion on a new Alfa Romeo supercar almost being sold out before its actual debut. Now, as I said, if you guys want to help further support the channel, always check the links down in the description below. We have a one-time link donation from my PayPal, my Cash App, my Venmo, and my Patreon, just in case you guys want to donate an extra dollar or two to the channel. Appreciate the love as always, guys. Thank you so much. You guys can also check out the Ron's Rise merch, and make sure you guys check out my social media links down in the description below. 
Now subscribe to the channel, but click the notification bell so you don't miss one video. And with that said, you guys be blessed, have a great day, and we will talk to you guys in the next Ron's Rise.